my journey around the world has only really just begun. It's to last many, many months, and in the way wonderful adventures slowly start to come together and mean something, I'm sure the bike will make it happen, and so will I. Well, I'm in Death Valley, and this is actually 20 Mule Team Canyon, a little back road. And um, I was camping last night, and uh, it was very beautiful, but a little bit cold. But I've got a sleeping bag now, so I'm obviously a bit warmer um, inside my tent. But transecting um, Death Valley are all sorts of little back roads with fantastic names like Stovepipe Wells and Furnace Creek and Badwater Basin, which is 282 feet below sea level. Um, and we're going to all sorts of wonderful places and, uh, yeah, sort of having a great time. Some people say to me, when you find a beautiful place, don't you want to spend weeks there and find it difficult to, to leave? And, and this is a place where that's happened to me, where I, I just don't want to go. I'm three miles south of Big Sur on the Pacific Coast Highway. And a, a charming family have just let me just stay in their little caravan on their land overlooking the Pacific Ocean just for a night or two. This is the Golden Gate Bridge leading into San Francisco and it's one of the most iconic bridges in the world. I hate getting stuck in sand, um, but you know, you could have spotted that. I mean, it was a hill of sand and I rode into it. Um, and there's stuck and there's, I was unstuck and that was stuck. Um, now I'm unstuck. Um, but at least it, it's a light enough bike for a little bloke like me to be able to sort out. So it's good to know that if you get stuck in sand, you can get out of it. El Salvador on, on the way to the border with uh, Honduras and uh, El Salvador itself as a country has been a revelation it's been so friendly there's something about Nicaragua which is stuck in time you could go back a hundred years and see what you see here now Horses and carts still cross the land and small holdings are the normal way of things for the farmers which are either making money or growing his own rice and beans. Science fiction writer Arthur C. Clarke said that any sufficiently advanced technology is indistinguishable from magic. But to me, there is magic enough in seeing a donkey draw water from a well, even if you know how it's done. There's a truth about life that all we want is not something that astonishes and pleasures, but more simply, something that works. When you ride around the world on a motorbike, you start to think your mind will collapse if you don't take a break from distraction, because that's all a journey does, distract. What I like most is to hear the engine whir beautifully, everything in sync. The slide of the chain over cogs, the sharp slap of machinery that changes gear to alter the pitch of a ride. I sort of understand these things because they've moved me across a patch of land and that eventually joins up and takes me around the world. On my bike, I feel real. I feel really thrilled by the motion. I really feel me as if my body parts are as one with the machine.
Well, here we are again in one of the most beautiful places in the world, in the southern Peru. Um, I haven't, I'm Billy No Mates, me. Um, I haven't got any friends. <laughs> I'm always on my own. I better get back on the bike again. My job is to make nice pictures of the bike and great films of my journey around the world and to relay this story about where I'm going and, and how I'm doing it to my audience and that's the best bit of this job. It's the bit of this job which I truly love and you suddenly get to a point and where I am at the moment in the Chilean Andes is the fact that it's so awesomely beautiful and it suddenly reminds me of what a magnificent world we live in. It's wonderful. So what does a journey like this mean to any motorcyclist and what does it mean to me? It means meeting people that I'd never normally know about and how we all exchange ideas and in a way somehow become friends. It means riding my bike to places which in my wildest dreams I never thought I'd visit then come home with heroic tales and great stories. It means proving to everyone that the world is a fantastic place to live in and to travel across, and that if you do it with the right spirit, it's friendly, it's safe, and it's fun. And finally, it showed to me that every motorcyclist is an ambassador for a type of freedom. And for me, there's only one bike on which to do it. I hope you've enjoyed the show. Thank you for watching. Until the next time, take care.